very happy to receive beloved Pastor Pastor Charles Lago, who is uh, almost coming now. Yeah, he just come now from uh, Juba, and this is the Earthland. He's landing safely in my wood as trip. We thank the Lord for making this thing happening. He's supposed to come on Fridays, and uh, he did not make it. Today, God made it possible. Something is not possible from man, it's possible from God. Today, it is a great day. Youth has come out with big number, and Pathfinder are ready to receive uh, Pastor Charles Lago. Pastor Charles Lago is the departmental director in, in SAT, South Sudan Attack Territory. That is, 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 a, is a one who is responsible for Department of Youth, Department of Service School, Department of Personal Ministry and Health, plus the chaplaincies and music. Pastor Charles has just come now in my hood. He learned separately. This is how he was received by Pathfinders. Seeing Pastor Charles is a master guy. His welcome is different with other welcoming. So he's being received by, master, by Pathfinders with uh, saluting as a choice of respect and welcome in uh, Pathfindering uh, law. Uh, as you are seeing him, he's marching now, coming through the line in the middle of the Pathfinders. He also come here, he also being received by Honorable Commissioner uh, uh, Bang Kawit. Here. Yeah. Yeah. The Pathfinders. He also come here, he also being received by Honorable Commissioner uh, uh, Bang Kawich is here. And he's happy also to receive Pastor Charles and many other government officials who is together with him. Uh, plus, uh, from Field, Eastern Appenal Field, is being hosted uh, by Youth Departmental Director. Also, Pastor Lam is here. And also, the district leader, also, Elder Lam, is also here. Plus, uh, a lot of people from Youth, Elders, and Deacons, and Deaconesses, plus other. Uh, you are, you are stressed, it's less, mine is big, because we are already in the plane, and we have been on the track like that for 45 minutes. The plane cannot take off because there are a lot of uh, higher tra traffic, places are going, to Uganda is going to other places, we cannot be able to come here. But today my heart is so happy, I've been looking at my wood in the picture, but now my feet is in my wood. So, you know, Male in way peace be with you. So, now let the peace of God continue to be with you. Yes, uh, we are fulfilling what the Bible said in the book of Joy, chapter 2, uh, verse uh, 9 to 10. God said in the last day, He's going to pour all His Spirit, and the young people will see vision. When I see these young people like this, and I see the young people dancing there, we are fulfilling what God said from there. And Ellen Tiwan also confirmed that He said, such, such, such a youth, the army of youth, rightly trained, how soon will they crucify the reason? So I'm so happy. I don't have much to say at the moment here, but I'm so excited. May God continue to bless your work. And may God continue to bless this man, the man of peace. And I, I learned a lot of things from him. <laughs> now I've seen him today. He has been given support to come and bring peace by force. But he said, no, peace cannot come never by fighting. Peace comes from by his people to be together. May God continue to bless you. I'm longing to be here with you. I scheduled to be here longer. I was scheduled to be 10 days together with you here, so may God bless all the day together. In Africa, also in South Sudan, there is all people who bless. So I've come to the soil of your place for my youth here. I will ask one of the elders to bless me with a prayer and then pray for the young people together. Yes. Who is the oldest person here? Yes. Now pray for us. Now you are sad. I'm small and you are the one who is big. Let us pray. Jam kwa njal kana pein da ne kanwa i kuki damanda mui kutama kuki for gamwe kuki use kuki kel dije kuni ndi ali salat kuki kel dengwe ni kuni kwe itanga kuki di kuki kwe rugi. Well, mine is just to express my gratitude to. 
to all the people who are here. For me, my work is not new. I have been here in uh, 1999, 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003. I've been coming to my work. So, uh, but really God has done something miraculous. Because I remember if we were talk of history, there was no airstrip in my wood. And uh, again, we could count the homes by then. Not even reaching five. That was around. But now is a, a full town. We thank God for this development. And uh, for me, as I said since yesterday, I want to pray that let the peace of God prevail. So that the, the children like this, the young, the, the women and the elderly can enjoy sleeping peacefully in their houses. And then not only that, so that the church will continue then to grow and provide the services that it can give. The church may appear to be poor, but it's not actually poor because we are not serving a poor God. So he, he, will, he will do the, the more that we cannot do by our human hands. Today, the, the youth were doing a, a cleaning drive. Mm. And if you go to the market, it's very clean. Amen. And uh, this is amazing. We destroy the environment ourselves. But actually, God rather prepared the environment for a human being to live in before we were even created. So for us, we want to, we want restoration of humanity. We want restoration of the will of God. And that is why we engage in anything that is good, that will bring good to humanity. Mm. Now, I am I'm grateful and uh, I'm just, I will just say I will miss you, Kiko. Uh, but uh, my, my brother has come. He has, he's taking over. <laughs> now, he will be in another hand. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Welcome to my work. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You have prepared so, the way for me. Yeah. So because my name is John, eh? yeah. <laughs> so John always prepared the way. Yeah. <laughs> so may God bless you people, and then you can have a very good week. So the people will be revived, the young people will learn new things. May God bless you. Amen. <laughs>
will totally change and your life will be full of surrender to, to the Lord. So we are right with the church company now and everything is going well. He will start his program uh, today, even tomorrow, and it will continue. So the community of Maywood is welcoming him in a special way. And we hope God will be with this program until the end. Pastor Charles will on, not only uh, attend until the end, Pastor Charles will on, not only uh, attend the Global Youth Days and Youth Week of Prayer, he's also give, giving other lessons concerning the youth challenges about the courtship and also the life facing the youth in a daily life routine. And also he's talking about also uh, things in life that can be taken as a measurement, precautions, before you make a decision. It's also talking about uh, schooling being a priority in life of youth, and also it's also talking uh, about uh, being mature before you get home, you get married, you get the child, even before you get husband or a wife. You need to be mature. It's talking about maturity, uh, plus other spiritual lesson that is also uh, de dealing with. So he's also continue. He will also continue to to teach the sub school department and use plus the chaplaincies and other department like health and uh, music also. Pastor Charles is a God is a blessing to us here, and also you need to be part of this blessing. We watch everybody should come and also listen the man of God. Uh, as the man of God was sent here in my hood, we really believe God will also uh, give him a strength and wisdom so that indeed people will also witness what the Lord has done in my hood. We thank the Lord so much. May God bless you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah.
Mimi. Mimi.